What's up you guys? Joker back again. Uh, I decided that today I'm gonna show you my uh, Swedish SOG slash Ranger inspired kit. So this is not a full impression but this is inspired by Swedish Rangers in Afghanistan and uh, the Swedish SOG special forces. Um, we're gonna shoot this out of some different angles. Um, I don't have a lot of space in my room anymore, unfortunately, like in my old videos, because this is a bar that I got now, and it takes up a lot of space. So uh, I'm gonna move the camera to a different angle later, but you're gonna get to see uh, more or less the whole view of it. But I thought I'd show off this uniform first. This is the Swedish M90K model. And it's the desert model, as you can see. Um, this is the, how to say, field shirt model of it. And uh, it is basically the desert version of the Swedish Niti L, 90L. Um, and uh, it's a light uniform. It's a shirt. You can open it up. Uh, this one's impregnated uh, with chemicals that are very toxic if you wash them. So if you get your hands on a real steel, because this is a real one, if you get your hands on them, do not wash them in a uh, laundromat with uh, chemicals. Hand wash only and don't use any chemicals and leave it out to dry because uh, these are very toxic uh, and you don't want to get yourself hurt. But this is how the shirt looks like, and this is the splinter camouflage, as you've seen it before, but this is the desert version. I think this is one of the most good-looking uh, desert camouflages there is, actually. You got the Swedish patch here. And uh, yeah, you can, uh, as you can see, I folded up the arms because it's much more comfortable. Uh, you can fold them down, but... Um, this model and this shirt I got uh, by trading with a good friend of mine and this was the only size they had so uh, it fits me good here but uh, the arms are a bit too short they end about here so uh, that's why I keep it up also but yeah uh, I'm gonna show you uh, in the next clip a little bit more of the loadout and try and explain what I thought about it so yeah let's check it out alright you guys so what I got going on here is, this is not my vest. This is the vest of our teammate, who I got to borrow. Um, I borrowed it because I wanted to find out if this kind of system works for me, because I'm actually used to more uh, chest rigs or very larger plate carriers. But this is the vest that I got to borrow, and it's an LBT. Um, I'm not sure of the exact model, so I'm going to find out, and I'm going to uh, write it in the description of the video, so check that out later. Um, but this is his modification of it, so it's not mine. I just played with it, but I enjoyed it. Um, so I'm thinking of getting one of these when I'm not using a chest rig and soft body armor beneath that chest rig. This is a plate carrier. You can put the plates in here and in the back. Um, this modification holds six magazines, which is basically all I need and uh, my teammates need, because that's what he modified it as. He's got mini backpacks and pouches here, and uh, there is picture references of uh, the Swedish SOG forces using this vest, so... Uh, since we are in a kind of SOG inspired team, uh, that's why he chose to use it. And uh, ho hopefully that's why I'll choose to use it too. But this is how it looks like. And um, I'm going to show you the rest of the kit now. So let's check that out. Like I said, um, <laughs> there's not a lot of space in my room anymore because of the bar. But um, hopefully you get to see the bigger part of it. And this is kind of what it looks like. The pants are just uh, no-name khaki-colored cargo pants. Um, I'm planning on getting M90 Desert pattern pants, but they're very hard to find. So 
So, uh, but that's on my to-do list. But these work just fine until I get those. Um, I got Real Steel Swedish Army Combat Gloves. And uh, they have kind of this knuckle protection, which can be pretty nice if you get hits on the hand. Um, of course, the Swedish AK-5C. Knee pad. Glock 17. The Safari Land holster. Comtax. And the Emerson Fast Replica Helmet. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, if you saw my video where I was playing in Tempus Fugit, <clears throat> The CQB Arena, this is what I was using. And uh, I like it. It's it's nice. It looks uh, it looks pretty pretty badass, which is which y'all know I think it's all about looking badass, but um it has a kind of operator look without without looking too much Delta Force or too tactical. It kind of looks modern and um Yep. This is basically it. Alright, so that was it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I want to make it clear that uh, it's not an impression. It's not 100% legit. It's not accurate. It's just very much inspired by Swedish SOG and overall armed forces, but especially the Rangers. Um, it's very hard to make videos in a room when you're staying at home, but hey, you gotta be honest. This is me right now. Um, I have a lot of tight spaces, but uh, I'm trying to work it out. Trying to make as much videos as possible for you guys. And for me, because I enjoy doing it. And uh, I want to show you um, what I play with and what it looks like. Um, don't forget to comment. I love to talk with you guys. Like, subscribe, send the vi uh, videos to your friends. Share it on your Facebook. Uh, Google Plus, even though it sucks ass, it does. I'm sorry. Fuck you, Google. Anyway, this was it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, I had some problems with the audio last time on my AK-5C video. I'm going to check and uh, hopefully it doesn't happen to this one. It might have been also because some of you guys were watching it when it was just uploaded. So uh, maybe it wasn't really totally synchronized with YouTube. Let's find out. Hopefully this one turns out better. Um, Alright you guys. Joker out. Thanks.